so nice to be back on a bike and stuck doing videos in the garage. That gets old. It's like uh, 70 degrees today. A little windy, but uh, yeah, I don't care. I'll take it. That's fine with me. I do not have the new helmet on yet because my tin advisor has not come yet. And I could wear sunglasses with it, but I don't I don't like to do that, so I'm uh, back here with the, the old RSFR, the tried and true. So I know some of you only watch the moto vlogs, and to be honest with you, I can't really blame you. But this weekend, uh, we are leaving on a trip. We are taking our bikes, and we are going down to New Mexico. A couple things I want to check out while we're down there. I want to go... Uh, Try, I want to go ride the Devil's Highway, like Clifton, um, Arizona, north of there. Um, it's it's Route, it's US 191 now, I think, but it used to be Route 666. It was the sixth spur off of Route 66, so it was deemed 666. It has obviously since been changed to Route 191 or US Highway 191 or whatever. I gotta get some hair out of my hair in there, my helmet. But I'm cool now. But yeah, we've uh, we've got the trailer all set up. You guys have seen that I strapped the bikes down. People are saying to put stuff in between them. It thanks a lot because now you got Miss Stevie all paranoid. So now I gotta find something to put in between them that won't rub and rub the paint. They were close together, and the reason they were close together is because this bike, I didn't work hard enough on getting the ass end over to the right farther. So they were they were closer than than what they will be when we leave, but but Stevie wants something in between them now, so I gotta find something to put in between them, which Yeah, it's probably gonna be for the better. I understand that. I have white hair all over me. I was playing with the neighbor's dog. One-legged, three-legged dog. One leg missing. Name's Sadie. She's a, she's a lab. She's a gorgeous dog. She's awesome. She's fun to play with. Makes my dogs jealous when I do it, <laughs> which is even better. But man, I haven't been on a bike for a while now, but it feels really nice to be out here. I think, uh, I think we're we're ready for our um, we're ready for our trip. Except I have this really weird addiction, and it's with these Dixon flannels. I like, every time I see a new one, I want it, and then I'm like buying gloves now too, man. I don't, it's crazy, it's crazy. But I'm not going to quit doing it, because it's awesome. I saw a new, oh, that's a diverse group. That is two Harleys and a Goldwing. That's the kind of stuff I like to see. I like to see the different kinds of bikes getting together, you know, like not caring who you're riding with. To each their own, right? Ride whatever you want. It don't matter. As long as you're riding and you're having fun and the people around you are like, you're like cool enough that it doesn't matter what they ride either. That's what's important. I have to admit, I got a lot better about that when Miss Stevie got her Honda. But yeah, we have got, um, we've got quite a few, tr we've got some things planned for when we get down there, but you know, it never works out, <laughs> right, right? It's gonna be down there, it's gonna be about like it is right here now, um, in Nebraska. Except for while we're gone in Nebraska, it's gonna be like 40 degrees, and down there it's gonna be, you know, like, low 70s so perfect riding weather as far as I'm concerned this is this is perfect I have a vest on but I have just a flannel on and I have thin gloves on I'm comfortable I'm not cold at all but I'm not hot either which way am I gonna go now that's a good question I want to run this tank of gas out because it's older gas and I didn't put any fuel stabilizer in it because of who I am as a person Oh man, it 
feels so awesome to be on a bike again. I like went with like months without it. And this is, this is simply amazing. Man, you forget how much it helps when you don't do it for a while and then when you then when you do it it's like you for, you miss waving at people you uh you miss you miss it you miss this i miss all of it i miss all of this i had to miss any more though but for those of you guys that just watched the moto vlogs which is totally cool um miss stevie is going on the world record poker run at the end of july and they are they are riding to Sturgis from Tampa, Florida, Tampa Bay area, uh, and it's like 3,100 some miles that they have to do. You know, they're like setting a world record for the longest poker run and the, and the amount of people on the poker run. Uh, the Badgers have that; they're setting it up. The the uh, the Badgers down there in um, in Florida, Sunny and Angie, they're awesome people. They're a lot of fun. They, uh, they're the ones setting it up or putting it on, I guess. And Miss Stevie's going with them, and she is gonna, she's gonna, she's gonna help them out and all that stuff. But um, we're shipping her bike down to Florida so that we can make the time frame work with her and her job. So we've got to ship it down there, and then she's got to fly down there, and then she's gonna ride with them. And then if it works for me with my work schedule. I will try to meet them in Sturgis, but the way that's looking right now, I kind of, I kind of doubt I'll be able to do that. But I'll, uh, I'll work something out where I'll like at least meet her halfway home, so that she doesn't have to ride the whole way home by herself. But I'm, I'm cool with it. I totally trust her. I mean, I, I, there was a time when I would be worried about that, but I'm not anymore. You know, because she knows how to ride, and I'm not. I'm not worried about her riding by herself anymore. Like that weight has been lifted off of my shoulders. It's it's cool. I gotta keep moving my mirrors because I've had the cover on for so long and you walk by the bike and you bump it and you know you move the mirror and you're like, ah, I'll fix it when I ride it. Well now I've gotta fix it while I ride it. So but now if you if you go if you guys are interested in that, I know March 1st is when registration opened for that, and you've got to go to supportbikers.com and they will have a deal where you can pick to sign up for the for the world record poker run it is two hundred dollars for a, a couple for um if you've got a passenger on your bike if you're riding two up but if you're riding solo it is uh 175 i think and i'm sure that um, i'll hear about it if any of this is wrong actually if any of it's wrong i just won't put it in this video i have that power <laughs> I did ask Miss Stevie though if she wanted to take the King instead of the Deluxe and um, at least right now she says that she wants to take her Deluxe so but that will be pretty flippin awesome I think it will be a great experience for her and Sunny and Angie like I said she's gonna ride with them so I know that they're gonna take care of her there is one thing that I am super 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 jealous about and that is that she is going to meet John Maxwell. And <laughs> that dude, I've said it before, that dude has like always been like one of them people that I can I can ask questions and bounce questions off of on Instagram or whatever and he will always answer me back. And it's it's so flipping cool. One of the really cool things about riding in the spring like this though is that there are no bugs. <laughs> That's that's super cool. Man, for the first moto vlog of the year, I really don't have much to talk about. If Amy was with me, I mean there would be there would be bunches to talk about. Because that woman is it's like you just you just wound the toy and it doesn't stop until it, it it's done. And I don't mean any of that in a bad way either. But she's a talker. I was gonna take her bike out because it's got a new front end on it and stuff and you know you, you want to ride that stuff to make sure everything is kosher. I'm sure the mechanics wrote it and they, oh, I'm sure it's fine but there's still a part of me that thinks you know hey I need to ride that to make sure everything's okay and she says no. <laughs> You're gonna get it dirty. I'm still gonna take it out though just to make sure everything's alright. That's not something I want to find out 
thousand miles from home that they messed something up because then she's going to be riding on the back with me and i know the lucky dave's get lucky seat is a little bit wider than the lucky dave seat but it ain't it ain't no big old couch so she's gonna be hurting well this isn't good let's see i got a low range and i got what 15 miles left until i get to a gas station we may have to call the wife call amy Sorry, I can only call one person at a time. Who would you like to call? Amy. Calling Amy Mobile. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, so here's something fun. Huh. I'm, um... I'm east of town. I've got 14 miles to go, 15 miles to go, and my bike says I only got 10. Oh. So, <laughs> I may need your assistance. So, just so, so you know. Say hi to everybody, though. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Do you want me to come now? If I make it, I'll be there before you get done. Let me know. Okay. I'll go fill it up. Okay. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. So one thing I have noticed, I have the Senna 30K on this helmet. The 50S is on my RF14. The 50S is by far a better unit. The sound is totally different in those speakers. But if you have a 30K, you can go to Revzilla. And you can get the Senna um, 50S speakers, the high definition speakers, I think, where they're calling them, or whatever they're calling them. You can get those speakers and put them on your 30K. Um, a Senna is better than no Senna. <laughs> a Senna? Yeah, so, yeah. This will be fun. I really don't want to run it out. I've heard that that's really hard on fuel pumps. Well, no drama because I'm pretty sure I'm going to make it. I've got just a couple miles left to go to the gas station. So I'm just going to uh, go ahead and end the video here. I'm just going to relax and ride home. But uh, everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. And until next time, everybody stay cool. And we will see you on the road. How'd you pull that one off? What? I'm not a guess. I didn't run out. Oh, nope, I made it. <laughs> Love that kid. <laughs>